So I think first of all, th this might sound a little bit harsh, right? And, and people might not like what I'm going to say now, but you got to take a bit of personal responsibility, right? You can't expect anybody to come swooping in to save the day for you. That's just not how it works, right? By all means, and I absolutely encourage getting a good support system around you, but you've got to put the hard yards in. You've got to do the, you know, the, the hard work and get inside your head and, and figure out what's going on, what you want to do, build a support system around you, set the goals for yourself, take action on those goals, manage the highs, manage the lows. You've got to do it yourself predominantly. But having good people around you is massive. Like I'm, I am brutal now with who I will spend my time with. And, you know, you have these people, I call them morale vampires, right? They're those guys that we could be having a great time here, right? And that one person walks in and the mood goes down. Or we could be having a shit time here and that one person walks in and the mood goes through the roof because they're the life of the party. They're always funny and bubbly. You want to get around more people like that. More people with drive, ambition, like Ricky, right? Ricky's so similar to me. He loves reading personal development books. He loves training. He loves trying to improve himself all the time. And I, and I buzz off him being around him. And I surround myself with people like him. And if people are, we were having this conversation earlier, me and Ricky, about people in your life that make deposits or withdrawals. They're either people trying to take, 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 take from you all the time and drain you. Or they'll give, give, give. Or there's a little bit of both. You want to try and build the people around you that make you feel good, that are on the same mission that you're on, you know, and, and stay away from the ones that just suck the life out of you. And, you know, it sounds really kind of elitist and, and hardcore, but, you know, we're not here for that long mm -hmm. and we got to make the most of it and enjoy this experience that we've got. And to do that, you've got to get around people that, that light you up and push you on to mm. be the best version of yourself that you can be. Yeah, no, I can agree more. We talk about that all the time, actually, don't we? Oh, fucking hell, yeah. Mm, to yeah. It, yeah. We, I've got a real problem with people that just take 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 mm. and um i think the more as you get older i think you realize that those people that you, have clung, clung onto you for years or clung into your group or into your and then you kind of realize one day you're like yeah they're just fucking using you for whatever reason mm -hmm. just to just to better themselves or whatever. and do you know it's funny like most of the time you find those people they might start talking shit about you to other people oh he's changed he's not the same anymore i'm like Damn fucking right I've changed. Why do I want to be the same person that I was when I'm 40 that I was when I was 18? Mm. Running around downtown, drinking, partying and throwing up in the street. I don't want to be doing that when I'm 40. That's ridiculous. Mm, yeah. I want to be grown. I've got a family. I've got responsibilities. I want to build stuff, build a yeah. life, build businesses, build friendship circles and, and do all I think stuff. stuff like that comes out of jealousy though. Like I think you know who your real friends are when you start doing well. Yeah. So if you start doing well, they either support you or you'll get the friends that will just bitch behind your back yeah. and be like, oh, why the fuck's he doing this? Why the fuck's he doing that? The circles get very small. Ex yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think if you do surround yourself with people that are moving forward all the time, you all go forward together. Mm -hmm. you know? But if you if you let that one person hold on to the back of you and you, yeah. you don't let them go, you know, they can pull you fucking back down. Yeah. Especially with your mood, like you said earlier, like your mood, if you've got that one mate who's always fucking depressed, always, you know, but doesn't do anything to help himself, always right. out on the piss, always cheating on his missus, always doing this, always doing that. And then they, they just become a fucking pain in the ass. And you feel sorry for them in a way because you want to help them. And, but you mm -hmm. try and help them over and over and over again. And then you find out, well, what do you do Saturday? Oh, when I, you know, yeah. went out on the piss again. Yeah. You think you fucking dick. This is what I said about personal responsibility. They've got to take a bit of personal responsibility for themselves. And people reach that point at, at different parts along their journey some people never reach it but some people will one day just have an epiphany they'll wake up and be like what am i doing mm -hmm. i think sometimes like, it's triggers it's triggers some it's like their wife will leave them there <laughs> yeah. their kids will you know not want as much to do with them right. or that and then they think oh fuck am i am i that much of a dick but right. you can tell them but it sometimes it takes act like you said action you mm -hmm. know what i mean to say you know Get fucking yeah, it's it's almost like a three-year-old boy now. It's almost like right raising a child, isn't it? To some extent, <laughs> but literally, he'll be doing something, and his mum's like, "Oh, just, I'm just let him, let him fail, just let him fall down. Mm. He'll figure it out, and yeah. then he'll sort of shit his sort of yeah. shit out." People can change as well. They can like realize that they are fucking dicks, or they are, you know, when none of us are fucking perfect, are we? Let's be honest. We've all got our hang-ups or our bits and pieces. But I guess that's kind of what we're trying to achieve to some extent with this podcast, though, where we're we're kind of covering men's mental health. And I mentioned it was kind of the overarching topic, but it's not here to to tell guys it's going to be all right and to pat them on the back. Mm. It's to give them information that they can then take on board and actually apply to their own lives themselves mm -hmm. to better the situation and hopefully improve their mindset.